Cricut has just released a new feature right inside of Cricut Design Space, kind of, it's still in beta mode. It should be coming to you very soon, but if you are using the beta version, you guys have access to the new warp feature. You guys can now warp font and text right inside of Cricut Design Space. Welcome to Design Bundles YouTube channel. My name is Crystal, and if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you don't miss any of our crafting tutorials. I am so excited about this feature. I am bummed because it is an access, but I have a feeling because there is currently 24 different ones to choose from, a few of those will be for free, which is very similar to when they updated their shapes. I'll show you that in just a second, where some of them are free and some of them are for access members only because they have the offset tool and we can use it all the time. So I really have a feeling that hopefully we should have access to a few of those. And if not, you can definitely accomplish this with third party apps. Um, as well as Designscape if you guys are a Gold Plus member. Starting off, to make sure that you're in beta mode, you wanna come right over here where these three lines are. You're simply going to click on it and then you wanna come down here where you can see settings. You're gonna click there and then from here, we're gonna be on the general tab and you're gonna see that option to change it to beta. If you have not changed yours to beta before, then you are probably in the live version. Now, don't be scared. If you go into the beta, Beta version to try out some new features that you may not have access to. For example, right now in beta, they also have a new print and cut feature that allows you to cut really big designs. If you didn't know that, make sure you guys check out our tutorial on that. I'll link it up above. But the really cool thing is you can go back and forth. So if I play around with beta, I want to play with some of the new features, but then I would just want to stay on the live version because there may be some tweaks. I haven't run into any just yet, but say something isn't going right, then you can always switch back to the live version. But to get yourself into beta, you simply want to click it, it's gonna turn green, and then you're going to hit done. And from there, you're gonna see an updating. So it's gonna update your Cricut design space. Once it's done updating, it should automatically relaunch on its own. And if it doesn't, you can definitely just restart that and you're gonna be good to go. So whenever you hover at the very top of Cricut design space, you're gonna know that you're in the beta version because it's gonna say beta and it is 4.2 nine currently. Now there's always updates and things like that. Now you guys know that we have the offset feature and it has actually been in beta for quite some time. So if you come right over here where it says offset, you can see that it is in beta mode and you didn't even have to go in beta mode for that. That was in the live version. To activate the warp tool, what you simply want to do is come over here to start a text and then you're automatically going to see the warp tool come to life. So you can see offset now, you can see warp as well as a few other features. So all you're simply going to do is click on that warp feature and it will warn you for the first time. And I think every time you open up Cricut Design Space until they're done with it, it's gonna tell you, you have to become an access member. Now, if you're not an access member, like I'm not an access member, you can still play around with it all you want inside of Cricut Design Space to see if it's something that you like or need. And then if it is, you can definitely play around with that. But it does let you play around with it even if you're not an access member. But I do have high hopes that it is going to eventually have a few of these that are available to non-access members versus the access, similar to the shapes that I was talking about in the beginning. So the way that the shapes is, you can see the top half of these are completely free. And then when you get to the bottom half, you can see that you have to be an access. And I really have a feeling, don't do not quote me on this because this is just me guessing here. This is my detective work. Once it comes out of beta, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll allow us to have a few for free. Now that we have went over how to get it in beta mode, my thoughts so far on it just being accessed, how to access it, and all of those things, let me go ahead and show you really quick all 24 designs. So if you just scroll down, you can see that there is 24 of these, all of the different shapes. You could definitely just type something out and then continue to change that to see what it's gonna do. But you can do this with multiple fonts, not just one. So you can see where I did Dream Big, there's two different ones, 
Beach Babe, and then Sunshine and Hello. Those are by themselves, but I use that warp tool to make them really, really cool. So let's go ahead and play around with this. I'm gonna discuss a few of these and explain how I accomplished it and which warp tools I used. The font that I'm going to be using for this demonstration today is this one right here. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. It comes with 20 vintage fonts, which is perfect for warping. I love using that more retro, chunky vibe, so definitely make sure you guys check this one out. For the top one, I came right up here to the warp tool and I used number five. So you guys can see that there. Now, whenever it came too big, I came back into the warp tool and I used this one right here, which is number seven. And it was actually a smaller word big. And then I just stretched it out until I thought it fit perfectly. So this would be perfect for a nice SVG on a t-shirt coffee mug, you could make a decal for your laptop, some sort of sticker if you wanted to, lots of different ideas, but you can see that this is the exact same font, two different warps, and I sized them out to fit perfectly. So that was one there. Also, I wanted to show you guys a little tip here today. You guys may be looking at some of my colors here and being like, I really love your colors. All you simply have to do whenever you change your font and you come up here, Go to the advanced. So say for example, I chose this pink right here. You're just gonna move this guy around on the box and that's how you could get those really nice retro uh, boho vintage colors if you guys wanna be able to visually see that right there inside of Cricut Design Space. For the next one, I'm super excited for this one. This is something you have probably seen very similar to SVGs that we sell on designbundles.net. And this is how you could make some on your very own by just simply using that warp tool. And then I repeated this three times and then I'm using a separate font that is more script without a warp tool. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a second and I was able to accomplish this. There's so many different things that you guys could do with this one. Like, you know how it's like mama, you could do that and then have little boss babe at the bottom. So you can play around with that, do it all the way across the top or do a small piece at the bottom. So many different ideas of mixing different fonts together with warp and not warp. So the way that I accomplished this one is I simply typed out boss babe. Now with this one, I'm once again using that dream highway out of that bundle. So the same one as this one. And then I came right over here to that warp tool. And for this one, I'm simply using number 11. So if I click that, it's gonna undo it. Click number 11 again, it's gonna bring it back. Once you type it out the first time, you're simply gonna come to duplicate, which is right here, and then you're going to just simply line those up. So let's recreate that really quickly. So you're just going to get that there. We're going to duplicate it, and we're gonna bring that guy over, and I'm gonna show you guys how to line that up. So we're gonna duplicate that guy one more time. We're gonna bring it right over here. I'm gonna move this one out of the way. And so I'm gonna kind of get those where I feel like they're pretty even individual, like the separation of them. And then I'm going to select all three of those. We're simply gonna come over here to align and then we're going to center horizontally. And these are going to be absolutely perfect. Now, whenever it came to the boss babe, I'm actually going to arrange and move that back to the front. The font that I'm using on this one is Dairy Day. Now this is not included in that bundle, but I will have this font linked down below. To recreate that, we're simply just gonna come right over here to text. You're simply going to go to system to find your very own fonts. And then I'm just gonna to go to start typing out dairy. I'm gonna find it right here. You can see that this little banner is green versus this banner. So to save it to your bookmarks, you're simply going to click on it, make sure that turns green. And now all you have to do is go to your bookmarks and that way it's easy to find those. So let's go ahead and choose that font, which is right here. Here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, type out once again. So I'm gonna type out boss, babe. There we have it. And then I'm gonna bring it right over here. We're going to size it down and I'm gonna get it pretty similar to the size of the design. And then you can set it wherever you want. I kind of have mine coming across it like this. I may want to even stretch it just a little bit more. So something about like that, you can bring it up a little bit more, whatever you like. It is that easy. We created this amazing SVG, once again, that you guys can throw on a t-shirt, so many different ideas, right? I'm obsessed with it, really, really love that one, and that was just using one of those warp features. 
And once again, to show you guys, that was number 11. Next up, we're gonna go over the word hello. This is just one single word here, but we just used that warp tool to make it extra chunky and a whole lot more fun. So for this one, I came over here to the warp tool and I'm using number seven to achieve this. Next up, going over beach babe. So once again, we have two different words here two different warp tools. So coming up here to the first one, beach, coming up to the warp tool, the one I'm using here is this one, number 13, because it has a little bit of that swoop to it. And then moving on to the bottom one for babe, I'm actually using the more straight one here. So I'm using the one with a little bit of curvature to it, and then the one that is straight to achieve that. And so then with this one, you can always pile these on top of each other. And also don't feel limited to just leave it like that. You can definitely manipulate these. So for example, I can use my little tool here to turn that just so I can really kind of get an idea on, you know, if I'm getting it nice and straight, if you will. Once again, if I wanted to too, I could make one word bigger than the other, so on and so forth. So just play around with those and have so much fun because I'm telling you guys are gonna be obsessed with this. Now, the last one I wanted to show you guys was this one here. I did the word sunshine. And for this one, I'm using the retro hungry from that font. And I think I forgot to tell you on hello, this is purely. So inside of there, this is that font purely, and then this one here is the Retro Hungry. So for this one right here, all I simply did was type out the word sunshine and then came to that warp tool and I chose number eight. Now, when I initially did this, so let me show you really quick. So let's go do this. We're gonna come down here. Our font is already set to that Retro Hungry. We're gonna start to type out sunshine. All right, there we have it. Now, if I go over here and I come to that warp tool and I choose number eight, you're gonna see that it's really hard to see that it's really squishing it, right? You don't have to settle with this because Cricut recently released the tool that allows us to stretch this without having to go unlock it or anything like that. So you guys can see with Cricut's new feature, once again, this is live. This is not in beta mode. You now have access to stretch right here without having to come unlock it. You have what's very similar inside of Canva where you can stretch it from side to side. You can stretch it from top to bottom. So you can see when we first started out, that was really squished up and we couldn't tell, but you have the ability and access to stretch these out with their new feature. And once again, this one is live. So whenever you guys start to play with that warp tool, definitely play around with stretching those designs out. So if we came right over here to the word hello, it would be the same thing. If I wanted to, I could stretch this guy out and make it a whole lot more fun however I'm wanting it. So for example, if I was gonna be putting this on a wood round and I needed it to be stretched out in a few more places, feel free to play around with that. Now that I have showed you guys using a few of those work features, the different things that you can do and create, Let's go over each and every single warp. So what we're gonna do is come right up here to that warp tool and start at number one. So I'm actually gonna scoot this guy down so we can see all of those as I change it. So this is number two. We have number three, number four, number five, and number six. Number seven is going to be that same one that I did for Hello, so you can see that that summer, it just made it so much more fun. And imagine using some straight font, um, Hello Summer with that, so, so cool. One thing that I hope that's going to come to life when Cricut actually brings this out of beta is that you'll be able to come to the advanced feature and ungroup it to letters so we can change those individually into other colors. Now you definitely could do the hack that I showed you guys. It was with our TikTok hacks, I'll link that up above, where you can line up multiple multiple pieces of for example, a piece of vinyl, and then it would cut all those colors. But once again, I really, really hope that Cricut listens to this and that they make it to where we can ungroup it to letters. The same thing with a line. So once I type it to a line, I'll be able to ungroup it to a line. Now, another thing here is with the combine. So I hope that 
you're going to be able to come over here and do some of those same features using that combine tool. Right now, all you have is undo warp, and it's just simply gonna undo that warp. Moving right along to number eight, this is the same one that we used with the sunshine. Once again, don't commit. You could definitely stretch that out how you want it. We have number nine. I think some of these are kind of similar. They just bring it in tighter, a little bit further away. And then you have number 10. We have number 11. I really love these for sure and, and piling in different pieces. Number 12, which is also very good. Number 13, 14. Number 15, we have number 16. These ones are really cool because you could do, for example, let's do this, let's duplicate it. So we could do um, this one, we're gonna duplicate it. Put it here. We're gonna go back to the warp tool and we are gonna do it on this side. So now we have these two, so we can have those together. Obviously have another word, so summer, but another long word where it's gonna go together, and that would be a really cool design as well. Number 17, number 18, number 19 is pretty cool. Once again, you can play around and manipulate those to you know maybe look a little bit better, however you wanna do that. We have number 20, number 21, number 22, we have number 23. I really like this one as well. And then number 24, fingers crossed. And like I said, hopefully Cricut will at least give us a couple of these so we can really play around with it uh, without having to become an Access member. I hope that's just something to do currently with beta and all of that. You guys let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. I really love this one right here, the Boss Babe, and being able to create designs like that on our very own. Love that. I really do love the sunshine too with that. You could do um, different pieces on top, similar to how I did Dream Big, and do that where sunshine stretched out here, and then you have the big chunky pieces there. But like I said, you guys let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about the warp tool? Do you hope that they're gonna make it where it's not access? Are you guys an access member, so you're gonna be checking it out? Have you guys already played with it? And like I said, let me know which one of these designs is your favorite. Don't forget, I have that font linked down below for you guys in case you're interested. Once again, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you guys don't miss a thing.